Hallo an alle, mein Name ist Ekaterina Karakova, ich bin Opernsängerin, Vocal- und Präsentationscoach, aber auch bin ich diplomierte Musikpädagogin. Und letzte Woche habe ich einen, eine super spannenden, einen super, ich schon, <lacht> Hallo an alle, mein Name ist Ekaterina Karakova, ich bin Opernsängerin, Vocal- und Präsentationscoach, aber auch diplomierte Musikpädagogin. Letzte Woche hatte ich als Gast eine wunderbare ähm, Alexandra Kosinjuk. Sie ist äh, Psychotherapeutin, die mit Eltern arbeitet und sie hat auch eigene Methode entwickelt, wie man glückliche Kinder erzieht. Wie gesagt, letzte Woche, dadurch, dass jetzt in der Zeit der Corona wirklich fast gar kein Internetempfang da ist, äh, sollten wir nach 20 Minuten leider aufhören. Deshalb heute machen wir es weiter und vielen, vielen Dank für Ihre Frage. Wir werden heute auch einige Fragen von Ihnen bearbeiten. So, hello Alexandra, how are you? Uh, thank you very much, Katrina. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. So, as I said last week, uh, unfortunately we had a very, very bad internet connection and uh, we were talking about your method about how to educate uh, HEP kids. So the core is that um, to, to educate happy kids, uh, parents should be also pretty happy and pretty um, clear in the head. And uh, as you said, you told us a very interesting method about cycle of security. So I would really like to come back to this idea. What is it exactly? How or sh let, let us repeat. What is exactly the cycle of security? Good. Uh, actually, uh, if, if we want to get uh, the happy people Uh, the happy people is the people who is secure and safety because uh, our happiness this is such uh, how to be secure how to feel safety isn't it yeah yes this is like you teach uh, the people to be secure in yourself when they speak uh, how to feel safety when hundreds of people look at you how to feel safety. So this is become from the parents, uh, this uh, feeling uh, to make relationship uh, to uh, to be secure, it's come from our uh, childhood. This is how to we make attachment. So everybody who know interesting in psychology, they know about attachment, uh, because we are attached we are in relationship as i said last week that the biggest psychological um, research grant study in harvard university show that for happiness we need relationship <laughs> nothing more we are social people so we are yeah. social <laughs> human we are we are human we need contact so um To make, uh, to make happy kids <laughs> or to raise happy kids, we can say how to raise secure kids or safety, uh, who feel safety. So about, about this method that I said, this is a circle of security methods. It's come from uh, state Washington. Uh, this is Bob Marvin or correct Robert Mar Marvin or psychologist uh, Powell uh, and um, sorry uh, Powell Hoffman or oh, I'm sorry my I, I not every time I remember good name but it's not uh, not most important they they take as a basis the attachment theory and work how to make uh, kids secure attached so everybody need to research the world we like to have uh, exciting we need to research we need to open something new this is like we every time every day open our um, phone ipad pc and go to to read news <laughs> so this is this is the same we need something new so 
when we uh, now want to research the world, we want to feel as secure. Uh, and this is uh, the safe circle of security. The one hand lets the child go to explore the world. But the child wants to explore the world with connection with the parents. And uh, if we think the little, little kids go through the garden or just on the street or on the beach, <laughs> Could you could you show could you could you think the child go to the water on the beach? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two years old. Yeah, and I can imagine yeah. that. Can you imagine? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. And something, somebody another go, and the kids stop and look back. And if mom and father say okay, and if child secure, it's just okay. <laughs> and it's moved toward the water. <laughs> so this is the child, a uh, secure child, which want to explore the water on the beach, or, sa or, or sand and everything. So, but when child is tired, she or child find, find something, something interesting, and go, mom, dad, is indeed, look at here. Good. Sometimes it's just enough that just a bit little touch, just get a, a sight for the parents, smile and back. <laughs> so this is like one hand to explore it, another hand to, to wait and uh, make child secure. So this is, uh, this is really a really nice uh, possibility to, to make um, that uh, uh, that uh, child feels secure and this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, child become to be a secure adult, which come to the new job, open the door, say, hi people, I'm, I'm Mrs. Smith, <laughs> hi Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wands, <laughs> and um, let, me, let me work together. So this is like this. This is this is to 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 want to have to have a wish to explore and the feel that somebody wait you back and can help you to to get new energy and understand you. Yeah. Well, do you remember last week we also discussed about emotions? You said that parents should uh, teach their kids how to understand emotions, how to express emotions. And then I asked you, you know, or then I said, I, I, do, I still remember that, you know, I know how so many parents who cannot get along with their own emotions and feelings. How should they teach their kids what to do then? Yes. So this is very important. When we teach parents in, in the program Circle of Security, uh, we uh, explain to parents that you have your own emotion. And this is very important that your own emotion not change um, your possibility to make correct decision for your kids. Okay? Uh, let me show you a small example. Um, the child come to the mom and said, you remember that tomorrow we go to school five o'clock because I present um, my work for example you know mom you remember that uh, i study this mathematic question and tomorrow i tomorrow no, t -t tomorrow we tomorrow is a friday tomorrow is friday tomorrow morning tomorrow morning we go to to visit your grandmother mom that's impossible but it's impossible, say kids. Tomorrow I present. No, tomorrow we have the tickets and we go. And in this situation, very important that mom understand. Whoa, it was so important for my child to present, but I get these tickets. We need to visit our mom. <laughs> could be as usual Easter now. It, it, it could be very active. So. In here, it's very important that mom 
not uh, hear the high music. You remember I said to you, uh, and you are as a musician, you know, this music give our emotion. We cannot have the horror uh, cinema, a horror movie without music. <laughs> and the author of the program, they use this, uh, this uh, meaning about high music uh, from the um, film Chow about sharks. And the beach is very cool, very calm, very nice. But this music, shark music, do, 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 make us uh, very, um, yeah. very insecure of what happens now. And this is, this is, we can see this emotion in parents. If we feel this is, what's wrong now? I cannot, I cannot manage these kids. It's very hard. Uh, well, what can I do now? This is the shark music because. We remember what happens with us. We remember we was, uh, for example, punished for bad, um, bad behavior when we shout to parents or when parents cannot m manage our emotion like a kid. So this is important. What mom can do? She must understand well. It's something wrong here. This is a, a lot of emotion of my kids. So this is important for mom. Well, sorry. I'm really sorry. Yes, it's very important that you present tomorrow. What we can do. Do you want me? I call now to your teacher and we make new agreement that special you, special you with this project Let's get a possibility to present your project after Eastern. Because I'm really sorry. I know that you're very glad to visit your mom, to, to, to granny, to grandmom. And you also like to come to, okay, well, a special big place, um, um, amusement park. It will be open tomorrow for a museum park too. And I would like uh, to, to make you glad to, to go to the uh, opening for this year for amusement park. I'm really sorry. So what the child really, uh, I'm sorry. So the yeah. child needs to have uh, the feeling of being special and important. Yes. And understand, I know that you are now very angry about me. It's normal. Oh, okay. To be validate the child. Yes, it's normal to be angry. It's normal. But let us to manage it. Mm -hmm. So what is the what is what's important in this pro process? Just number one, that we validate our own emotion and understand this is not good. This is not good. This is my high music. I cannot shout to the child, this is my fault. This is not child's fault. Another thing, stay in your decision. Now the parents must be bigger and stronger. The tickets, um, well, very important, uh, very expensive tickets <laughs> for the fly was bought. The tickets for the park was bought. Everything was bought. What we can do? Well, we stay in our decision. So, in this in this situation, we go to the through four four biggest quality to parents to be big. You are big. You are strong. You are um, wise, and you are kind to your child. Kind to explain to child. Yes, you are now angry. It's normal. It's absolutely normal, but let us resolve it. So the parents must understand yourself, own emotion. The parents must be stronger and bigger and child and, and wise. Wise, really wise. You take some decision, stay, stay in it. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I explain it, how yes. it works. Yes, yes, yes. 
So um, I would really, um, I would like to read you the questions. Oh, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So um, I think that I will start with the last one because I found it the most interesting and suitable for the topic. The uh, following story. Um, we are working parents, says Umi. But all the time, all the free time we spend with our kids. Our young son is 12 and uh, he's not at school. So almost every year we have to bring him to another school. Um, he has sessions with children psychologists, but I don't see any change in his behavior. He doesn't want to study. He doesn't, want, uh, he doesn't have any hobbies. And he just plays uh, games with a PlayStation. What can I do to change his, his behavior? Well, in this situation, I would ask the parents. Um, and I, uh, I suggest in my mind that this is really, a really healthy child. This is no problem with uh, development. I, I just I just think for 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 I consider that this is healthy child, healthy teenager, twelve years old. In this uh, age, uh, parents must understand that kids begin to come to puberty. They begin to change their mind and they want to understand who I am. This is very important period. And as I say, this is last period when the parents can change their relationship with the kids. And here is very important that the parents ask themselves, what can I change in my behavior that my child uh, begin to change uh, his, his, himself? Because big change in the kids behavior start in the change of the parental behavior so this is very important to understand for parents uh, well uh, how they encourage this uh, teenager to explore the world mm -hmm. and how secure the child at school what happens at school so this is very important that maybe this is not just child go to a children psych psychologist. This is very important that it will be work in with family. And maybe in this situation, the parents uh, need uh, to to make the movie <laughs> to make video how they interact with their kids and uh, uh, therapist look how parents um, speak with kids, how, how, kid, uh, how, how the, this boy react uh, for parental interaction and how we can find to encourage the child to go. Because this is a lot of uh, different kind problem. Maybe child has anxiety. Maybe child uh, has social anxiety. Child insecure. So how we can make child secure? But everything starts with parents. How parents could encourage. So I could see that very important that parents begin to look to himself. And after, they can uh, really active ask the therapeutist what we can do for child. Because if we want to just change the child, we cannot child, change child. Start with yourself and make new habits. I hope I answered the question. Yeah, but um, now I also have a question for me. Mm -hmm. um, you said a very interesting mm -hmm. thing. You said that when the child comes into this time of the pu puberty and he uh, or she wants to learn more about him or herself, so the parents also have to change their behavior too with a child and this is also a very important thing that um because as i said it before i see that many parents in my experience they still think that a 15 or 20 or maybe 50 years old child is still yes. a little child and it's for me <laughs> kind of you know uh, strange because um they are getting too infantile 
two kind of food. They 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 stay in this level of being a child because they I don't know they don't know different stuff like you know it's always too much security too much love too much <laughs> everything is it normal uh, yeah uh, this is uh, i think this is very important uh, to to make child independent that we uh, encourage child to be independent uh we know this um phenomenon like hikokomori uh, that's come from japan uh, where is uh, only one uh, kids in family, very often only one. And um, uh, if they also two, three, five, four, the um, Japanese mom, uh, um, everybody knows that's what is momzilla. Momzilla, this is Japanese mom, because they know what child must get. But very often, child of Momzilla, they or either very successful or to be Hikakomori. And the mom continue to secure a child in this uh, small environment. This child just come inside the award. Uh, the people uh, ask, well, maybe this is autist. No, this is not autist. Uh, this is the very unsecure child which cannot explore the world by themselves. I, I, I said yes, a lot of hikikomori is autist, get autism or high functioning autism, but half of them have social anxiety. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, as you said, um, that Parents also have to create the opportunity for a child to be independent. And here I also have a question because I have, I know so many moms, um, I would say a little bit older ladies who always say, I grew up and I have my child only for myself. And actually they don't understand that by don't letting the child go and experience the world mm -hmm. and by... So having the child by themselves, the child is getting so unhappy, not only completely insecure because yeah. because the child gets too much uh, this this uh, feeling of security, and when they grow up, they uh, people they, these kind of people they completely get lost. They don't know what they want. They don't long. Uh, they don't know what they like. They like the mom always decides for her or for him what is the best for him with whom. Uh, he or she should spend uh, their time and whatever. So why is it so difficult for some women to let the child go and experience the world by him or herself? Fantastic question, Katrina. Uh, you know, uh, if we look to some mom who come with the kids to cafe, we can see very often, special here in Scandinavia, uh, the the woman, woman try to get child together so they can go to go to cafe and every, everywhere. So the, some, some woman come to cafe and is this play, guard, play yard. So somebody just put kids down and okay, good. But every time at least one of mom Say, oh, no, 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 my, my, my child don't like it. Is it here? Is it here? <laughs> here begin it. Because the mom unsecure, unsecure in her own. Or she said, oh no, it's happened something. It's better that my child sit here on my knee. That think in this play guard could happen something. It's better here. I am secure. I'm I'm in safety. I am as mom in safety when my child here. <laughs> so here is the problem. If the woman does not let the child go to to explore the world, uh, they try to serve the child. They said, I know what you can put on you. I know what you can eat. Mom know best. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is sorry. This is like in in good uh, 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 good uh, uh, short funny story. 
uh, the five years old the boy uh, go to the outside to the street and they open the window the mom uh, say to him well you need to come you need to come inside what happens with, with me now i need to eat no 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 you are tired now to to go to be outside <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry this is a maybe maybe I am not very good to 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 explain it on English but this is like this. I know you are tired now. <laughs> so this is yeah. Unfortunately <laughs> these kind of people with these parents they're so unhappy and they're yes. so they have so many fears. So yes. and yeah parents don't understand it. So next question is from Petra. How yes. to explain the, uh, the limits to a child if she doesn't want to accept them? So I, I guess uh, Petra has a child, a girl, and she explains to her girl where are the limits and she, the little girl, doesn't want to have them. How to explain yeah. it? Uh, yeah, it's very important to understand what Petra uh, mean in limits. Mm. Uh, because uh, because this is uh, this is this question where is the limits? I suppose uh, like if she says what is good is what is what the child should do and what she should not do. I suppose. Uh, uh, if we want to explain child limits, we need to get the rules. The rules. This is basic <laughs> and beyond in uh, child education at home. If you want to, to, to get a child who respect uh, the rules, we need to get the rules. Because I think uh, uh, limits, limits in this uh, meaning, it's rules. Uh, because uh, we need rules. We need to, to understand that, well, if I park my car on the place where it's good to park car, it's okay. If I park my car, for example, in Norway, less than five meters before the swing, I must pay for it 900 crown, approximately, approximately 100, uh, 100 euro. Okay? So we understand it. This is the rules. Uh, five meters before, before, before the swing. So... Um, if, if Petra will speak with her daughter and say, sorry, this is the rules. You can do this, this and this, but not this, this and this. Okay. Uh, what happens if I don't follow rules? Well, if you don't follow rules, you will not get this, this and this. So this is not necessary to punish the child. This is most um, most impossible for understand for me, like a, a parental coach that they say, well, you will be punished. No, 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 no. We, we don't like it. Because what, what happens in our brain when we know, well, um, what can I do? I need to park my car now and here, but it's cost one, 100 euro if somebody come and see it. What can I do? <laughs> well, if if we understand that is the park car now most important, it's it's cost as well as cost. We just choose it, isn't it? Yeah. This is important that we understand. We we explain to to to, to our kids uh, what happens if they go over the limits. What what it's. What we what we can do? So limits another another possibility uh, another possibility to explain the child. Well, if you follow these rules, we can open the limits because, uh, uh, for example, teenagers. Yes, you must come every day to home eight o'clock. You cannot be with your friends over the eight o'clock. Why? Because you need to sleep. You must understand you need sleep. Okay. What is the consequence of I don't sleep? I put, 
I put the blanket over my head and just uh, play um, my phone on the blanket. Well, good. If you sleep, you have a good possibility to to be on site on school. You get better uh, better education. You get better knowledge. You get better marks. You get better career. Okay. Well. What happens if I do it five days per week? Well, if you do it five days per week, you can be before um, before weekend or in weekend with your friends up to 11. Just let me know where is you and let me know where is I can pick you up. <laughs> so now we put two limits. Limits for everyday limits. So this is very important that parents show the profit and uh, show what child lose, not just punishment. Because on this way, we can not get limits because to get limits, this is the begin beginning. When I, sh when I hear limits, it's make like we don't want that our child can fly. <laughs> well, the, good, the good arguments are very important. Yes. As good arguments, what you can get, what you cannot get, what is your choice? Arguments and profits. <laughs> yeah. Where are the profits? Yes. Yeah? Thank you. So I have another question from Alina. She says, um, I have a daughter. She's a smart, quiet girl, but she's always cranky. How, what to do if the child is cranky all the time? I cannot stand by with her 24-7. Cranky is like, you know, mm. yeah, 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 and you understand that she, the, the girl is smart, the girl is nice. Uh, well, it's um, most important in this, it could be, you know, how old the child, because, yeah, we don't know. So this is um, because for some, for some age, a, ch a child need more connection with parents. In some age, for example, three year somebody said three year crisis this is not three year crisis this is just understanding that the child need now to make their space one three year old boy or girl well we can think think this is alina has three years old girl she she's smart and clever but she needs to understand where is her place and she needs to to, to get attention. So uh, this is a, this is very many side on this situation. So if the three years uh, old uh, girl want attention, so this is important to get this attention and ask, well, what do you want to show me now? And like to make like a mirror, mirroring. Oh, you're greeting, what happens? Oh, nobody like me. Nobody like you. Nobody like me. Nobody like you. Nobody like you. Well, this girl not like. Ah, oh, this girl not like you. Ah, oh, your mom ha ha get not give not a lot attention to you. Well, let's us make a rule. If mom can make this is, so you get attention. Another thing, child is insecure. What we said is child insecure. Mom tried to say, well, no, you, you need to, to play here. No, 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 no. Where is my mom? I need attention to my mom. Again, try to encourage the child to, to be alone and say, well, mom, sit here and do this. You stay here. And uh, do and, <laughs> and, uh, if, if, if we do this, so after we can play. So this is one, one scenario. If Alina had seven year old girl and girl continue uh, need a lot of attention and show um, uh, show uh, bad mood and anxiety. So here is another situation. Uh, seven years old, uh, seven, seven years age child um, can a lot of think but cannot decide they need a lot of uh, support to make something 
and they need to um, to 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 be to be seen to be looked for so, so well I sit here you sit there we work together I was you work with your homework I work with my work and after we are ready we can do something another so this is very important that we understand the age very often if a child uh, um, like uh, screaming and uh, cranky as you said so they need attention so this is very important to understand what kind of attention child need and uh, uh, make it this need covered I see. but again again this change start with the parents not from child the parents the parents need to to, to ask the child what you need now what yeah. is your need yeah if I understand correctly the behavior of the child is a mirroring so the child is mirroring the behavior of the parent very often yes and if we want to change the kids behavior we need to start from us we need to ask where is my high music where is I stop the child mm -hmm. why this child cannot go for example I have 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 had one patient he was 18 when they come to me uh, they was tw uh, twins it was twi twins but one of them was very happy very strong very but this one was more um, more shy, more um, <laughs> more calm, uh, don't want to be forwarded. So as when I ask the parents, well, what happens? Well, the mom ha mm, the, 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 the twins was born one month before the termine and uh, it is this massive um, heredity uh, from mo mom's side in uh, psychiatric disorders well but why why just why only one twin is worse than another oh said mom i think i know the answer when they have been three months they get uh, um, infection. The boss was very bad and must be in hospital. But this number one, a bit elder, a bit elder, <laughs> he, he was with father and father was very strong and straight and let the child be to secure it with uh, father hands, but also the father very often just put it near the, uh, him but mom every time was with this have been with this youngest and he was every time with her and after this he uh, she also put a lot of her attention to this youngest youngest <laughs> because the twins was uh, an, like uh, youngest in uh, in four they have the family had four boys and these two twins was youngest and youngest youngest twin had a lot of mom attention uh, so the eldest twin uh, get possibility to make what he what he want the youngest was near the mom because she was afraid that she became uh, become something wrong with him and she not let him easy to go so this is this is also explanation two twins same family same parents very 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 different it showed that environment is very important so <laughs> it is it is very important for everyone not only yep. for kids yes thank you so much for your time and for uh, your knowledge and for your conversation i really hope that we can do something else together let's see yep. so thank you very much for being here well, thank you very much, Katerina, for for invitation. I'm very happy to explain my and deal my knowledge with uh, with another. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.